uh, able to understand you are able to see that one so this is an arc what is the field strength at point o at the center of the arc first we'll calculate that one then what happen we will modify this for different shapes arc means semicircle ring quarter circular arc anything it will come let's go for generalized one rather than m let me define linear mass density lambda what is the linear thin thin wire thin wire it is made in form of a semicircle no again is there any symmetry about point o yes it is there the mass is distributed symmetrically about y axis so what best we can do we can go for two elements here so going for keeping that in mind so i'll i'll assume two elements so the two elements will subtend an angle so let the mass of that be dm due to this element in what direction it will be in what direction here it will be d e dash this is d e dash let me take this is theta let this be r let this be d theta so then this will become theta so uh, what is the advantage here again you see the net field what will happen to net field along x axis will cancel no if you assume one element s yes, you will get answer but you will end up with lot of mathematics then you will reach the answer so th this idea of symmetry almost i think uh, i'm stressing it a lot just only to minimize mathematics here about y axis the mass is distributed symmetrically so first you define what is d dash g dm by r square because both elements are at addition because o is what o is a center o is what o is a center of arc now we'll proceed here no uh, net field d is equal to 2 d e dash cos theta d e dash g d m by r square cos theta further 2 g r square d m what we can write lambda into lambda into d s arc length let it be d s into cos theta so 2 g lambda r square what is d s d s will be r d theta Okay, one R. This will be so. This will become two G lambda R cos theta d theta. So let's integrate this one. I say, what all you put effort, it will going to help you a lot in electrostatics. I'm I'm making things clear. What all you put efforts straight away, same thing will get repeated in electrostatics. so just before electrostatics chapter starting no you should just revise these all these and, and you should come into electrostatics and electrostatics what happen all these are mathematical things very important is the conductors electrostatics like a charged conductors but first two weeks we'll discuss only math this one so as a teacher i feel like a, i i should make you to work out more numericals directly and before electrostatics you should revise one day and should come Alto statics all this will become mathematical oriented, so two three days you spend time and come out. You can work out more on the conductors because that is what very important topic which will help us lot for coming other four five chapters. And this is one methodology to learn. Please don't just neglect it because you just open books. No, you have like a for ring, disc, iron for sphere, all of sphere. Okay, then Kepler's law. Within four five days we can end up. But here we have given syllabus, keeping in mind electrostatics in mind. Maximum put effort now only the mass based one. Now what should be the limit? Zero to alpha by two because I assume two elements. What is the angle subtended by the arc alpha? So if I do like this, zero to plus alpha by two or minus alpha by two to plus alpha by two. 
or shall I put zero to alpha by two? Zero to alpha by two, because two elements I picked up. So the limit will come zero to So then this will become equal to 2g lambda r integral of cos theta sin theta 0 to alpha by 2. So this expression for what like the for an arc okay now now we will cross check put alpha is equal to let it be ring so what is alpha alpha will be 2 pi no alpha will become 2 pi so can can we uh, justify this answer can we justify this answer yes what all what all we studied we have to justify it so i'll i'll scroll down I think okay, fine. Everything is visible. Now, first ring, ring complete a ring at the center of the ring. Already we know ring, no, at the center of the ring it is zero. So we'll, we'll just cross verify with this one. Radius R let mass be the this one so what is alpha alpha will become equal to how much 2 pi substitute this at the center of the ring 2g lambda r sine 2 pi by 2 i think it will be 0 so already we we have verified with that next for semicircle Let this be the lambda at the center of the semicircle. What is alpha here? In this case, alpha will be pi. Pi radians it will subtain. So what is alpha here? Two pi radians. Here, what is alpha? Alpha will become pi. So substitute this formula. It is just 2g lambda by r. Now quarter circular arc. <coughs> After this we'll go for quarter circular arc. Quarter circular means So is that okay no? So this will be like a quarter circle. What is alpha? This is alpha. This this angle is what alpha? And let linear mass then to be lambda. What is the magnitude? First we'll get into magnitude part. EO should be equal to 2g lambda by r sine of alpha. Alpha is what? Pi by 2. So this will become 2g lambda r pi by 4 so this will become 1 by root 2 or root 2 g lambda by r this only magnitude huh? uh, uh, what about direction direction what happened it should make an angle of how much 45 degrees sir how do you can say 45 why only 45 why not 30 60 because See, it's a quarter circle, no? Mass is distributed symmetrically. So, what is the angle subtended? But what is the angle? What it will be forty-five degrees. Huh? So, for for your convenience, I'll, I'll just show like this. Huh? It'll be much easier. 
so in the vector form if you are writing so what this 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 should become equal to 2g lambda root 2g lambda r cos 45 i cap uh, 1 by so this will become how much only g lambda r i cap g lambda r j cap this is a vector form this is only magnitude please i think uh, better better remember this better remember this vector form is there okay depend upon the situation right it sir always i cap j cap no if the arc is there in the if the arc is there in the fourth quadrant then what you get minus i cap plus j cap if arc is there in the second quadrant i cap minus j cap uh, this is not a generalized formula better to remember only magnitude depend upon the orientation of that minus i cap or plus j cap it will come Okay, okay, this one. I am. Wait, I think I'm in alto statics. So the, 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 these things, I'll, I'll change it. Because I'm. It should be towards no. Yeah, no problem. Okay, this I'll, I'll change the direction. No? Nothing is there. Okay, thank you, thank you. Because we are thinking like electrostatics here, but it's a gravitation chapter. No, the field strength should be towards the object here. So, oh, fine. I think this should be minus I cap. Minus J cap. Uh, please do notice changes gravitational field strength so it, it should be like this it should be toward that one